Imo state women wara anya. Had the wide. <laughs> Their bright price is too much. Hmm. A lot of things. So hello guys, welcome back again to my channel. It is still me again, Sandra as always in the building. So guys, if it's your first time of seeing my face, yes, you're welcome. And please do not forget to hit on the red subscribe button. And also hit on the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video. Yes guys, and if you're a returning subscriber, more you guys are the real real mvp thank you so much i'm grateful so guys without further ado let's dive right into this video yes today i have a do not marry video i hail from orodo in the two local government area of imo state yes share with me if you're from imo state and uh, the parts you're from, if you're from Mbano, if you're from Mbise, if you're from Mbitolu, if you're from Obowo, Idiato South and North, Omoma, Mwidi, Oru East, Oru West, Oru South, and the rest of it. <laughs> so guys, where are you from, guys? Where are you from? Please let me know. There's a saying about Imo State women and their bride price being too much. Yes, guys, like, there are a lot of men, a lot of eligible bachelors out there that are interested in settling down with an emo state girl, but their bride price is so much and they're demanding for a whole lot from this man. So, and I'm here to talk about it. I am here to share with you that whatever thing that is going on online about emo state women and their bride price is really true it is the fact yes in some villages like i have for example i i tended somewhere in emo state i'm not going to be mentioning any village somewhere in emo state i had to go for an um introduction just an introduction and or more the kind of things that i saw there I mean, I saw a whole lot of yam and I was wondering if the family members want to start selling yam. Yes, guys. So, I mean, the list given to these young men, like young men that are just ready to settle down, like, and they don't even have much. They don't even have much. I mean, the list given to them is exhausting, is mentally exhausting and enormous, honestly, guys. But truth be told, it is not the same for my village. I will, I can, I will say for other villages, it is not the same for my village. Like I said earlier on, I am from Orodo in Mbitolu local government area. Yes, guys, we only the women only demand for salt. Amami had you know me, but all they want is salt. Just give them like three bags of salt and they share amongst themselves and they are good to go. And for the men, just give them uh, maybe a crate or two of uh, alcohol and they are good to go. Like, like, hey, you know me, me? Yes, it's too much. So guys, I mean, like this is the men Thing about emo state culture that this is one emo state culture that re, that needs serious reformation it needs a whole lot of reformation i mean this man has just one shop at alaba international market or area area you know i mean just doing well for himself not too rich and you know has made up his mind to marry your daughter and has shown interest you know in marrying your daughter and you just give him this kind of list i mean is appalling is not good at all you know i mean there's this saying that goes like this this uh i know reaching his shiwai yes i know reaching his shiwai like my emo my Igbo brothers and sisters will understand what i've just said i know reaching his shiwai yes i mean but there are some families there are some families that simply tell the guy, you know, just get what you can, get what you can afford, you know, and just leave the rest. They just try to cut corners for their in-law, you know, for things to be easier for 
they, they are in law because they know that it is not only they are not only doing their in law good a good thing, but they are also doing it for their daughter because this man is this their daughter is going to be living with this man, so they wouldn't want their daughter to to suffer. Yes, so they try as much as possible to to cut corners for this for, for this guy. Yes, and funny enough. All these things that are happening in some, you know, villages in Imo states, I mean, the family members don't even have much say. The family members don't even have much say. The people that have a lot of say is their village people. Is their village people? Yes, they are Omona and uh, they are Omadas. Yes, they are the ones that you know put all these things, a lot of things in their list. Yes, guys and. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Uh, this this is one thing that needs serious reformation. Igbo culture that needs serious reformation. Like I said earlier on, like I do not want to make this video a, a, a long one. I just want to make it a quick video. So I just thought I should just address this thing. Another reason why you may think again if you should, you know, marry this emo girl is. If you're dating the Ada, when I mean the Ada, the first born girl of the family, and this girl in question has younger ones, you know, and you're not from Igbo, you're not an Igbo person, and she has agreed to marry you, my dear, believe me, her family members will frustrate your effort. They will really frustrate your effort because they will always advise the Ada to marry an Igbo person. The other is not advised to marry outside her tribe. Yes. So guys, this is all I have to say about this whole about this whole Imo State women, bright prize, higi haga, you know. Please share with me in the comment section if you're dating an Igbo girl, if you're dating an Igbo girl, if you want to marry an Igbo girl, please just let me know in the comment section. You know, would you consider marrying an Igbo woman? Would you consider marrying an Igbo state girl? So guys, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Please like and share. If you really enjoyed this video, please again do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Hopefully until I see you in my next video guys. Bye for now.